and three days later a person will suffer from intense muscular pain, breathing difficulty, heart damage, lowering of pul pulse, weakening of pulse, eventually leading to death due to respiratory complications, due to heart failure or due to kidney malfunctions. So the lesson we learn from this is that when God Almighty, our Creator, forbids us from something, then that is good for our own. That is for our own good. That is for our own health. That is for our own benefit. The law of God is never a curse. The law of God is a mercy for man. When we follow the law of God, we will definitely become successful. The Bible states in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. The Bible states in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. Do not get drunk on wine which leads to debauchery. The Quran states in chapter 5 verse 90. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. إِنَّمَا الْخَمْرُ وَالْمَيْسِرُ وَالْأَنصَابُ وَالْأَزْلَامُ رِجْسٌ مِّنْ عَمَلِ الشَّيْطَانِ فَاجْتَنِبُوهُ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ O you who believe, verily intoxicants, gambling, dedication of stones, divination of arrows, are abomination from Satan's handiwork. Abstain from such handiwork that you may prosper. So sometimes people ask me, how do you ever enjoy yourself without drinking alcohol? So I say to them, do you know that alcohol is the number one car accident killer of teenagers in the United States? Do you know that? Do you know that alcohol, that every few seconds, every few seconds, not minutes, seconds, people die in accidents under the influence of alcohol you may know some people who died who were your friends who were drunk at the time in accidents this is happening daily throughout the world every few seconds a woman is raped under the influence of alcohol in the United States of America, every one, every minute, a woman is raped. Every hour, 78 women are raped. And every few seconds throughout the world, a woman is raped under the influence of alcohol. And every few seconds, a woman is abused and sexually assaulted under the influence of alcohol. And every few seconds, a home is broken under the influence of alcohol. Alcohol has been the root cause for disasters all over the world. Alcohol continues to cost millions of human lives and misery to millions throughout the world. I cannot help but agree with Dr. M. Robertson who once said, if half the pubs and bottle stores were closed, I guarantee that half the prisons and half the hospitals will also remain closed. What we learn from this is that the law of God is a mercy for man. It's not a curse. God is full of wisdom. We are short-sighted. We only see in front of us. We cannot see and we do not know what God knows. He knows how many people will die because of alcohol. He knows how many people will die because of pork. You know, throughout the world today, there are 50 million people who are suffering from the disease 
of sister cirrhosis, which is caused by the Tina Sulim worm. God Almighty knows these things. He knows better than us. So we should be pleased to follow his laws. We should be happy to obey the laws of God because, oh God, you have created me. You have nourished me since the time I'm a little infant. Since the time I'm an, I was an embryo in the womb of my mother and before this. We were once smaller than, than, than a tiny drop. We were once smaller than a tiny drop. And God Almighty, what we Muslims refer to, who we Muslims refer to as Allah. Allah created us from stage to stage to stage, developing us from various stages in the embryo. Then we become a little infant. Then we grow up. We become teenagers. Allah created our eyes. God created our ears, our mouths, our teeth. Our ability to see, our ability to think, our ability to hear. Oh God, how can I disobey your law? How can I disobey the teachings of your prophets? Respected elders and brothers, there are various teachings in the Bible and the Quran which coincide with one another. Jesus, peace be upon him. He said in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus, peace be upon him, said, in the Gospel of Matthew, follow me. In the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 27, he said, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I am the way. Let's then take into consideration what was the ways of Jesus. Matthew, chapter 26, verse 39. Jesus fell on his, fell on his face to the ground and prayed to Almighty God. So when we pray, let's think of the way of Jesus and let's pray like he did. In doing so, we would not only be following Jesus, but we would also be following all the prophets of God who also prayed with their faces on the ground. For example, in Genesis chapter 17 verse 3, Abraham fell on his face. He fell on his face to the ground and prayed to God. And God spoke to him. This is in the Bible. In, in, in the book of Numbers, chapter 20, verse 6, Prophet Aaron and Prophet Moses fell on their faces to the ground and prayed to God. In the book of Joshua, chapter 5, verse 14, Prophet Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshiped God. 